Hey friends, I'm getting ready to paint a pineapple painting. Recently, you all voted on my Facebook and Instagram pages whether I should paint a pineapple or a cactus. And I tell you, I'm definitely doing more of this voting polling thing because it was really fun. And it is neck and neck. But I decided to paint a pineapple. Um, I'm gonna flip the phone around and talk a little bit about the paints and what I'm gonna do. Okay, so don't forget, I'm gonna write the word love on it. Uh, these are chalk pastels. Um, there's lots of brands out there. Oh, can you see the, there you go. All right, so let's write love. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like the texture. And then sometimes I put a heart. <laughs> and then this is going to be a primarily a palette knife painting. Um, I've got some palette knives here. There's a bigger guy. Um, I use this guy a lot for mixing and painting. And then there's one with a different shape. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do first is paint the background just a soft, fuzzy, um, sort of an off green color. So I mixed, that was Turner's yellow. Okay, here, this way. That was Turner's yellow. So it's just kind of a little bit of a muted, a little bit of orange in that yellow. Um, this was Hooker's Green that I put quite a bit of the yellow in. And then I put a little uh, burnt sienna in it because green and red are complements. And so this sort of yellow green and this sort of brownish red will mute the green down and make it kind of a gray green color. So I'll come back when I once I get the whole background painted. Oh, and then I also, I don't know if you can see it. Here, I have to pick it up. See the line? on the canvas. So I just marked off uh, one way to, to design a painting is to mark it off in thirds. I think I've talked about that before. And then you put um, your focal point on one of the thirds. But in this case, since I'm pretty much doing a portrait of a pineapple, um, I'm just gonna mark the bottom third and have a little bit of a change there. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I got a little color down and I wanted to pop in because this might be a tip if you're painting or you hadn't thought of this or maybe new to painting. Um, you can use tape to get a straight line, crisp edge. I had a, a pencil line drawn on there um, and then I um, put some tape on. I could see the pencil line a little bit and then you can see, of course it's a little, that's pretty darn straight. I might need to adjust it just a little bit, but that'll give me another line. And this is actually upside down. So I just wanted to show you. All right, I got the background painted. Um, I'm thinking I want it lighter, but as I look at it on my camera phone, which I'm videoing with, I kind of like it, so maybe I'll wait till I get the pineapple on here and start painting because I can always lighten it later. I may end up palette knifing it, um, but I thought I'd show you because it doesn't always work perfectly, but that doesn't matter because you can touch it up. But I dried this with a hair dryer. It would take a couple days to completely dry. Oh, that's just a little piece. <laughs> I don't know, can you, or you can't really see that side anyway. Oh, my lines really settle. So I might wanna, um... oh, it's not so subtle in there. So isn't that slick though? Just gives me a nice straight edge, horizontal. I think I might leave that. I, might, I think I like that it's subtle right there. Cool. All right, I'm gonna get the pineapple on next. I have mixed some more color. Um, I used the same colors as I used for the background. So I mixed the Burt Sienna with the Hooker's Green. And then I put in a little Mars Black to make it darker. And then this is just some white with it. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if I like it. Chris, that, that happens to me all the time. 
I don't know if I like it. And then I just keep playing with it, painting until I do. Um, I've got the pineapple on the background now. And I think I'm just gonna put in some, where the dark values go on the leaves. Um, some of these leaves are yellow, more yellow down here. And then if I like it, we'll leave it. If I don't like it, I'll put some of the background color in there, which would also help unify it. So I've got a skinny palette knife, which I'm thinking might work well with the leaf shapes. It might be too big for some of these. I've also got several other palette knives um, that we can pull out and use. I don't know if you can see those very well. They kind of shine. <laughs> Here, I'll put that big one down. Got that one too. All right, let's, let's take a little stab at it. So I mixed quite a bit of paint, which may or may not, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Um, Cause palette knife usually use a lot more paint. And I'm also gonna try to put on um, a little thinner so I don't start off too thick. And now I'm already trying to, trying to get too controlled with it. Um, I have a reference photo that I printed out, I think from Unsplash. There's quite a few Creative Commons Zeros, Zero um, photo sites that you can use for references for paintings. I, um, I don't remember each one of their individual rules so i am not showing i don't show it um when i paint oh i think that actually might work that's quite nice and dark and it's going to dry darker oh i don't know my i shut my ass to ah, i just dropped my knife i struck i uh shut my studio door I don't know if you can hear my cat meow and she wants to come in. Oh, I've got fuzz on my knife. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, the excitement's over. <laughs> I switched palette knives. I decided I'd have a little more control with this one. So I'm finding as I paint this um, that I prefer, let's see, I think I want that darker right there. I prefer um, holding it in my lap and then I can turn it uh, much more quickly. Like I want to do right here, actually. Get a little bit different angle on it. And I'm also thinking that I may stop with this color soon um, take a chunk of it and um, warm it up just a little bit. Right, I'm going to put a little dark line right here, which is actually a shadow. So I've got the paint, I've actually got a little too much paint on just one edge of the knife. And I'm almost like I'm holding my breath, which you don't want to do. <laughs> uh, but it's not making me shake. Of course, it's not. Oh, I don't like that. Um, it's not the end of the world because I can, you know, I can scrape, I can change the color, I can paint on top. This is where um, acrylics are really wonderful because if you get. I mean, you can paint with a palette knife and get really thick with an oil painting. I don't ever oil paint, so I don't know that much about it, but I know it's, you'd have lean just like I have here, and then you build up to fat. But if you've got some really 
thick areas. I don't know how long it would take. Six months to dry, something like that. It could take a really long time. Um, you could ask an oil painter or watch an oil painter. They would know much better than I. I thought of something that might be helpful if you're a painter and you're just starting out. So what I'm thinking here, well here, uh, I guess I'll talk about this first. So where there's a light, there's a dark, but that's not like a steadfast rule of thumb, but it helps you. So I have dark here, so I have light here, so you can see, oops, I got light on there, I had dark. Um, so you can see the leaves, so you need some edges but you don't need every edge. Um, so when I say there, when there's, when I say there's a light, there's a dark, um, let me see if I can find one. It's not like it's super dark or super light in every place here. It's barely lighter and a little darker, but it kind of helps you find the edges, but you don't want everything to be super contrasty because then um, it just overwhelms overwhelms the eye. Oh, and then I just picked it up because I want to paint in the lap. <laughs> um, the other thing that I'm thinking, which I think I mentioned, is I'm going to warm up the color. Um, but I don't want, like, cool and then warm. So I'm, I'm pulling some of the color over to that side. And then what I really probably need to do here pretty soon is like I mentioned, is mix a little bit warmer green and then start playing with that. I mostly want to pop in and tell you about, in general, I'm thinking where there's a light and there's a dark to help find your edges. And then I'm also thinking cool side, warm side, but you don't want it literally down the middle. You want to bring the color over. So I've taken this green I was working with, put a blob over here, took some of the Naples yellow and made, I don't know, does that look like pea soup? <laughs> and then um, I've also got a little bit of a Naples yellow, a smidge of green in there going. And then, um, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting in maybe the most yellow Naples yellow areas of the um, leaves. So I'm thinking that's gonna be up here and then I'm gonna get just kind of a little cooler maybe as I come down. Anyway, it's starting to look good, I like it. I love the texture. Oh, it's really fun to paint with a palette knife. Although it's a little hard for me to keep it. I think I've said this a bunch of times, but I guess I'll finish that sentence. Um, I've been putting it on my lap and lay, leaning against the easel so I can turn it around a lot. And that's, that's a lot easier than painting it upright all the time. But then, uh, as I've also said before, you can't see them. So I'll try not to remember to say that again. I think I've said that plenty of times. Oops, nice. Sometimes I go a little outside the lines, but that... That does not matter. Plants, people, animals, um, they're not perfect. So if you don't get too crazy, it'll be totally fine. I think we're going to take a little white and a little bit of this, we'll just call it pea soup. make a little puddle. And sometimes you don't have to mix it up super well. I, a lot of times I'm guilty of over mixing because then you'll get a smearier look and color that might be kind of nice. Of course you can always come back over and make that kind of happen too. Acrylic paintings for me are all about layers. Oh, so speaking of layers, I put a little warm right over here to bring some warm over. I'm going to do more of that. I'm just kind of working my way in. Put some there too, a little dot there. Let's see.
So I've started a new palette here. I'm gonna work on the pineapple some. Um, I have quite a bit of the leaves done, but I wanna, I've got a lot of green here. I wanna get some yellows and oranges on here and see how it looks. Uh, so this is CAD uh, medium, or, uh, orange medium. I don't, I don't know if it's a CAD. Um, red oxide. Naples yellow, and then I mix a little red oxide with some Naples yellow, and then this color is this color pulled forward with um, some yellow orange. And then this is Naples yellow with a little yellow orange to brighten it up, and I've got white. So I'm just gonna, and I also, you can see here, I pulled a little bit of green in there. So I'm gonna put down, I think I'm gonna start with this color. I'm gonna put some of that down. I'm looking at my reference photo to see where, a little right here. I wanted to show you, I've got help painting. Freckles, oops, sorry about the hand. My fre freckles is on my lap. And then I'm trying to paint Here's my palette. Alrighty, Freckles decided to leave, so things should speed up a little bit here. So I misted my paints because Freckles was on my lap for a bit and now my paints are a little too moist. So I may take a break. I'll give it a go here for a little bit. I may take a break I wasn't planning on. Pop back in and show you some more progress. Um, this section is starting to look pretty good. I also am going to come back with the greens when I paint the leaves and put more greens in because it's not uh, the my reference photo doesn't have this much uh, yellow color on the pineapple. So my daughter was telling me the other day of a friend um, whose mom has quite a few pineapples in her house. Um, I assume that means like artwork or, I don't know, maybe salt and pepper shakers. Um, do you guys collect pineapples, have pineapples? I love that they're the symbol, like a welcoming symbol Just keep putting on paint. I'm gonna put this on first because I want it darker. Well, then I'm thinking We'll see how I can pull it off, but it's going to be lighter on this side, darker on this side. Oh, I would love to know if any of you guys have palette knife painted. I think it's fun. Definitely loosens you up. So 
So now I'm adding a little bit of green um, to part of the pineapple because not my reference photo is the pineapple is even a lighter color than it is here and it's not completely ripe everywhere. Sometimes I'm just um, a little bit on my finger. And over here, I think I'm going to mix a dark brown for some of this because it looks, here it looks browner, like not here, but on my reference photo, it's browner. And then over here it gets greener where some of the edges are. Actually, kind of want to have you come back with a little uh, powder texture because when I smear it, I don't get the texture too, but I like how it kind of lightens it up. Got a little green where I didn't want it there. Just wet the corner of a paper towel. So these are the same greens that I used in the leaves. I need to finish the leaves too. So I'm pretty much just dabbing on color here. Not a lot of technique to it. Just have a little bit of color on the end of my knife. I don't know if you can see that. It's really... I'll be back in a little bit. Getting really close to done. Um, I finished the leaves, I think. I don't know. I might lighten some of these up, but I don't know. I kind of like them. And then um, I made a brown. So I took the burnt sienna and I had some medium orange sitting here and I mixed that. And then just a little bit of black made the brown. And I did that because... So here I've got sort of greener shadows, which is what I see in my reference photo. But as you come around to the warmer side of the pineapple, the shadows are actually browner. I had put some uh, burnt sienna in there, but it wasn't quite the right color. Oh, that's pretty strong. I think I better set down my palette and get a little bit of that paint off my knife. Well, let me come back and lighten that up a little bit. It's a little darker than I wanted. I'm actually kind of scraping some of it off. So I'm gonna take a little Actually, I might take a little of the um, Naples yellow and see what that does. 
I could use white. But this might, I think that, can you see that? That might make a creamier brown. Of course, what I can see and what you can see on the, the um, video or what the camera shows you is, isn't the same. Let's try that. I think I like that better. I hope I can see there's a piece of fuzz or something. I hope I can still see it. So I'm kind of looking at the reference photo, looking at my painting and then deciding what I like and I don't like. I don't have any more paint on the bottom of my palette knife there. I think I might light, lighten some more of this up and make a little more. So with acrylics, uh, the paints dry a little darker I think that might be a little light. That orange underneath there is dry. That was the orange color that was there. I'm just gonna grab a little paint on the tip of my knife and we'll try this again. I think that's pretty. At least that's gonna be pretty good for some of the some of the areas. I definitely need some of that over here. So I'm just kind of dabbing it in. Um, sometimes there's like a little. Oh, is my head in the way when I do that? There's like a little. Kind of going this way. I still kind of want this lighter, but I don't know if I can get that area lighter. So this is pretty strong. I'm going to come back and it's dry it a little bit. It's not completely dry. So with a palette knife, you're really just making marks and I prefer it when I can make bigger marks rather than these little fussy guys but I think these little details um, help plus you want to get in the contrast helps make the I was gonna say the form come to life helps the pineapple come to life That's not dark enough. So this doesn't look, it's like with a pet portrait, I get it close. If you've seen some of my pet portraits on YouTube or on Facebook or Instagram are probably the best places to follow me. Um, I get them quite realistic. The reference photo I have here is much lighter than how I'm painting this. Which is just like, I guess more information, but like you don't have to paint it exactly. I like having a reference photo though, so that I don't forget the details. Cause like I would forget that there are these little dark, just like little dark spots. If I were the, um, I don't know what those are, but it's like the little I don't know what those are. They're like little curly things on the pineapple. I suppose that's a technical thing, technical term, curly things. I 
Okay, I think I'm gonna fuss with this for a little bit more and then probably um, show you a finished little video of this. It's really close to done. So I'll be back in a little bit. I thought I'd show you my work area. I haven't done that in a little while. There's Freckles. She's sleeping on my office chair. Hey Freckles, do you wanna say hi? <laughs> Not really. And then there's my easel. And I'm just using a stool. So I've got a styrofoam plate for a palette. There's just a jar of water underneath. And then here's the pineapple that I palette and I painted. Uh, the background's brushed. It's a 12 by 16 uh, inch and a half canvas. So it's pretty thick. And then I'm gonna step around my camera stand there and get closer so you can see See the palette knife? Lots of yummy texture. I'm really excited to start the cactus and I think I'm gonna do some lemons. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, leave comments, let me know what you think of the palette knife painting. Thank you so much for following me on social media and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.